cities that power themselves to clothing that charges your electronics. Today we look at 5 clean energy sources we should already be using. Number 1. Skyscraper Wind Energy Already there's an amazing skyscraper in Indonesia that is the first to use wind power as its primary source of electrical energy. This is no small feat because the 99 story building features a workspace for 20,000 different workers and a 2,000 seat performing arts auditorium, all of which requires a lot of energy. This building is the first of its kind, using wind energy to produce as much as 100% of its energy needs. Now although this building was built specifically for this purpose, all skyscrapers produce vast amounts of wind updrafts that could be harnessed using the same technology. If more people would start to adapt to this idea, soon we could have completely net zero energy skyscrapers in all major cities. Number 2. Thermal energy clothing. Though not widely available, clothing with which you can charge your electronics is already around on a small scale. Military and laboratories have been testing the idea of using body generated heat in order to charge different mobile devices. This technology is respectively affordable to produce and can be implemented into nearly anything from watches to shirts. And as the technology becomes more advanced and continues to lose cost, we can expect different clothing items to include gimmicks in order to charge your phones or other devices. With wireless charging already becoming popular, you might not even have to plug them in at all and simply being near your devices will charge them. Number 3. The power of the earth. When you ask people about clean energy, they immediately point out the power of the sun. This should be quite obvious as it is a huge nuclear fusion reactor constantly emitting energy. The disadvantage to solar power is we don't always have access to it. Clouds, nightfall, dust and snow can easily block out the sun's light and any energy we might derive from it. What most don't realize is that we have a perfectly stable generator within our planet as well. No matter where you are on earth, if you drill deep enough you will tap into a large amount of heat from the core of the earth. This heat can be harnessed for huge amounts of clean energy. The expenses of drilling that deep are quite high and it would certainly have risks, but not as many risks as today's nuclear power plants. Number 4. Solar Power Solar panels are expensive and that is still reason enough for a lot of people to not want to use them. A couple of cities have finally put in the time and money to save themselves vast amounts of future energy costs. They are installing solar panels. Some of these have chosen to line their roads and walkways with reinforced paneling. These panels are extremely strong and can withstand the pressure of cars and everyday pedestrians without a problem. But there's another huge problem people run into when researching solar panels and setting up their systems. The batteries and converters for solar energy are horribly inefficient. With most solar setups you end up collecting a third of the energy being produced and again losing half of that in storage. However, recently Tesla, Elon Musk's car company, has come out with its new solar battery known as the Tesla battery. This new battery allows for solar panels to collect and store huge amounts of energy and only use it during the times of the day you need it. Since this is the first of its kind, we can expect that the technology will still improve and maybe even become part of your everyday life. Number 5. Antimatter be it through the newspapers or Dan Brown's book Angels and Demons, lots of people have heard of antimatter's discovery and what antimatter has done for the medical field. In 1995, CERN announced it had successfully brought into existence nine anti-hydrogen atoms for a very short time. The energy antimatter produces is the maximum amount of energy that can be acquired through matter. In accordance with Einstein's theories and through the infamous E equals mc squared formula, you can calculate the energy produced through antimatter. 
the energy produced is proportionally equivalent to the exact weight of the matter itself, making antimatter the most efficient energy in the universe. So why aren't we using it? Antimatter, as great as it sounds, is also extremely difficult to create and contain, costing more energy to create than it yields. At its very best, Alpha is able to produce 309 antihydrogen atoms at a time and keep them stable for up to 17 minutes. And that has cost them years of research. With current technology, there's no way to harness the energy efficiently. At its very best, recent data released by CERN states that when fully operational, their facilities would be able to produce 10 million antiprotons per minute, assuming the conversion rate would be perfect. At that rate, in only about 100 billion years, would you have enough antimatter to use for power supply? About 1 gram. You've been listening to 5 clean energy sources we'd like to see more of. Let us know what you think about them by liking and commenting. And you can subscribe for more weekly episodes of Future 5.